and has opened to private sector with participation up to 100% and allowing foreign direct investment up to 26%. The private sector defense supplier group is composed of around 5,000 companies, which include large companies and also MSMEs. It accounts for around 20% of India's defense market in value terms. With new policies set, the government has allowed local companies to freely bid for projects involving tanks, artillery, aircraft, etc. The government has set a target for procuring 70% of its defense requirements from indigenous sources. India's defense procurement policy regime is undergoing a paradigm shift and is being credited to open up business opportunities to the tune of US dollar 100 billion in the next few years. The Indian manufacturers, suppliers of goods and services for defense, aerospace, and homeland security are to be the main beneficiaries of the government support policies of buy local taxation arrangements that advantage local firms, including defense public sector undertakings and the recently announced offset policies. This is a huge opportunity for MSMEs, but an opportunity full of formidable challenge and unprecedented scale. However, it is my conviction that MSMEs of India will be able to fully reap these opportunities. And my conviction is not without basis. Worldwide, the MSMEs, MSMEs have been accepted as the engine of economic growth and for promoting equitable development. Whether it is a developed country or a developing one, whether it is an advanced country, advanced economy like US or Europe, or a fledgling economy like Botswana, whether it's a country from Asia Pacific or Latin America, MSMEs constitute majority of industrial and service enterprises. They are a major contributor to country's GDP, at times contributing more than 50% of the GDP, and the more dominant partner in manufacturing and exports. In India, too, the MSMEs play a pivotal role in the overall industrial economy of the country. It is estimated that in terms of value, the sector accounts for about 45% of the manufacturing output and over 40% of the total exports of the country. Further, in recent years, the MSME sector has consistently registered higher growth rates compared to the overall industrial sector. And the major advantage of the sector is its employment potential at low capital cost, a factor which cannot be wished away in a country like India. As per fourth All India Census of MSMEs, this sector employs an estimated 60 million persons spread across 26 million enterprises. SMEs have distinctive characteristics like flexibility, great diversity, low cost inputs, etc., which make them highly competitive as producing units and the present global trends towards knowledge, innovation, downsizing, networking, and globalization have reduced the gap that once separated large enterprises and SMEs. MSME sector is already producing many high precision and sophisticated product and components for various public sector undertakings in the defense sector. And I suppose much of that would be on display today, tomorrow, and day after tomorrow. The tool rooms under the Ministry of MSME are also supplying sophisticated tools, fixtures, parts, etc., of ordnance factories, aerospace, and other defense manufacturers. I'm sure that given the opportunity, MSME sector in India is capable of proving its strength by producing different items which different sector at present may be importing from different countries or may be purchasing from large enterprises. Coming to the role of the ministry, if I have to put it in one simple sentence, making MSMEs globally competitive by providing them a conducive environment is the agenda of the, this ministry and this government. Ministry of MSME has been providing enabling environment to the MSME sector by extending comprehensive package of services ranging from training and handholding to credit, marketing, and technological support. In order to build capacity of MSMEs to become globally competitive, the ministry has launched various programs through its various attached offices and NSIC. These programs not only cater to upgrading the technology need of the sector, 
but also provide them inputs and improve their process to increase their productivity. Some of these programs need a little elaboration. The Ministry has recently launched the National Manufacturing Competitiveness Program, NMCP, which is specific components that are aimed at enhancing the competitiveness of the enterprise in the sector so as to withstand global and organized competition and to thrive through better technologies and skills. Global competition brings with it many opportunities of wider market access, technological innovation, and skill upgradation. This program aims to take up the challenge before the sector and to harness their